hello friends in my this particular video i am going to discuss about simple low pass filter using the jet transformation concepts whatever we have learned till now so in my previous video i have shown you that this is basically the difference equation for the digital integrator which is y of n equal to x of n plus y of n minus 1 okay and i have shown you the derivation of the transfer function also if you take z transformation of this particular difference equation you will get y of z is equal to x of z plus y of z into z to the power minus 1 if you take y of z in the left hand side all the terms what you will get y of z uh, after taking common 1 minus z to the power minus 1 is equal to x of z so y of z by x of z this is nothing but our transfer function h of z which is equal to 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 1 okay and i have also shown you the magnitude and phase response for this particular filter okay let's uh, see that once more so omega equal to minus pi colon 0 0.01 colon pi so uh, actually already i have told you that our point of interest uh, frequency range should be 0 to pi but minus pi to pi i am uh, drawing to get the complete part because 2 pi is one period right so then numerator and denominator coefficients we have defined and then after that what we can do h equal to free uh, frequency num comma n comma omega and then i am plotting magnitude and phase part okay control a evaluate selection if i do evaluate selection we are getting this kind of graph from the magnitude response itself it is quite clear what kind of filter is this one digital integrator what kind of array digital integrator is nothing but one low pass filter observe the magnitude response in close to zero frequency that is close to dc it is taking very high amplitude or uh, gain gain is very high and as the frequency increases it is decreasing so this is nothing but one low pass filter okay so digital integrator is one low pass filter now you may think that why this kind of magnitude response we are getting that is at omega equal to zero this is basically normalized frequency we can plot okay if you write here omega pi pi then it will plot normalized frequency but i am plotting direct frequency itself so we are, we are seeing that uh, at uh, dc it is very high it has very high gain and then uh, suddenly it is decreasing why this kind of thing is happening let us try to understand it with an intuition okay so our transfer function h of z which is nothing but 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 1 that's what we have derived here right see once more i am showing you y of z by x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 1 that's what i have written here now if you simplify this multiply z in numerator and denominator or you can replace z to the power minus 1 by 1 by z and if you simplify you will get h of z as z by z minus 1 now you know that this is obviously one unit circle from the class 11 trigonometry course itself we are doing this okay this uh, is corresponding to zero angle then pi by 2 then pi then this point corresponds to 3 pi by 2 and again returning back to zero so here unit circle we are uh, we, we always take unit circle for considering uh, the jet transformation roc or stability checking all these things so i have taken here one unit circle and i have just written three angles okay why i have not written three pi by two because three pi by two is not our point of interest i told you that from zero to pi this particular range of angle this particular angle is our point of interest and why this is like that that's also I, uh, that also i have derived using uh, analog frequency and digital frequency concept right now you just try to plot the pole zero diagram of this particular transfer function See, pole. Pole means this particular z minus 1. Solution is what? z equal to 1. So, at z equal to 1, cross I have uh, shown so to denote the pole. And 0, z, in the numerator, z is present. So, z equal to 0. So, obviously, at origin, 1, 0 is present. Right? So, this is what is about our pole 0 plot for this particular transfer function. If you want, you can plot in MATLAB also simple you have to write z plane num comma 10 this also I have shown you earlier that how to plot pole zero plot now if you write enter see this kind of beautiful graph we are getting where uh, one zero is present at the origin and at uh, one uh, this on the unit circle uh, we are getting here one cross which is denoting the pole okay all right now let us go back to our discussion and here what we are watching now 
See, try to understand it very carefully. I already told you earlier that pole always try to amplify the response and zero always try to decrease the response, right? This is obviously, uh, I think, uh, I think you know. If you don't know, please uh, check the link given in the description box. Please check all the prerequisite videos because those are very important to understand this particular concept. Because again and again, I cannot uh, uh, start from beginning, right? So pole always try to amplify uh, one system response and zero always try to decrease. Now pole where it is present j equal to one, right? J is what e to the power j omega. So e to the power j omega equal to one. So from there we can say that uh, omega equal to zero. Or from here also we can see when omega equal to zero there we are getting pole. Okay. So at uh, zero frequency we are getting one pole. Now, if you consider our frequency response or magnitude response, I can say 0 to pi, which is our point of interest. Now, when omega equal to 0, then there is one pole. And I told you, pole try to amplify the response. So, we will get a very high gain at DC or at 0 frequency, right? That's what we are getting here. Observe it very carefully. At DC, that 0 frequency, this is very taking very high gain, which is close to more than 600, right? So this is what is matching with our theory. Now, what happens? I already told you, zero try to decrease the response or gain, and pole try to increase the gain, right? Now, you just see, 